I'm Joe Quetcher back with the third box break from the boxes that Panini sent me. The uh, Crown Royal box was uh, actually pretty cool to open. Uh, Javad Best autograph rookie and then uh, the uh, die cut. So enough to uh, so I'll look to see what it is. I want to do these breaks and then get everything posted on the blog. Many of you know uh, did some uh, breaking tonight um, quite a few boxes so anyway here we go floor hockey is a base level that I really like the uh, previews on it that was before Panini was sending me boxes um, as a matter of fact I think that score hockey from the looks of it was probably the only product that was needed um, this is entry levels I said the, the autographs are one per case and uh, they did buybacks of 90-91 for hockey. The important thing to remember is that checklist is really strong in these. And uh, so, uh, pulling a, uh, any one of the autographs would be great. Um, very classic design for hockey. Cards are a little bit thicker than base cards of other um, base cards out there namely tops, um, pretty good action photo. This is a classic score looking set, good action photo. Backs are uh, pretty nice. I would like to see an extra photograph on there. I do like having this picture on the back. Um, but it looks like they kind of went out of their way to create a good uh, collector's um, set. Um, there are a bunch of rookies in here. They are, I believe, one per pack or one every other pack. Trevor Frischman Center. Um, so, there are 36 packs in the box, seven cards per pack, so you get about 210, 252. Looks like the cards are coming out of the pack in pretty decent uh, condition. So, one of the things that it's, it's hap been happening a lot lately with cards coming out of the pack. I have noticed that uh, Panini and the boxes that I've opened in the last few weeks have um, have been in much better condition than they were in 2008. James Wyman, right wing for uh, Canadians, rookie. I think these boxes go for around 30 to 35 dollars a box for most of the online retailers. Um, if you're buying this for the hits, you're, you're going to be sorely uh, disappointed. Uh, but if you're a set collector, which a lot of you guys are, then um, you're probably going to be pretty happy with, with this. Let's say you get one glossy per pack. Um, that's one thing I don't really understand why Sport did that. I mean, it's a close parallel set, but I'm not really sure it's necessary. I really, that was one of those, um, one of the products I really liked from the early 90s was um, hockey. 90-91 uh, upper deck was really nice, 91-92. Um, I really liked collecting those sets. I collected Stadium Club back then as well. Um, see like that right there. That uh, that's, that's a nice card, I mean from a collector standpoint. I mean, you're not going to get, none of these cards you pull are going to be like $20 cards or $30 cards, but uh, a lot of you guys that are set collectors, are, you know, this is probably the set for you. Very inexpensive. And if you should happen to pull another one of the rookies, I'm not even going to attempt that name right there. Um, but a lot of you guys are set collectors, especially the Canadian guys, Captain Canuck, set collectors. When I did my monthly hockey well, uh, hockey break a few months ago, um, you know, Trish, big sec, well, she likes Josh Hamilton, but uh, big hockey fan. Um, you know, the thing is, if you bought three or four boxes of this, and you actually did pull, happen to pull the case, it, which is an autograph, you would be in, in really good shape. First of all, it'd be somebody that you probably collected, but uh, third of all, you would, most likely get the uh, price of uh, those three or four boxes back. 
the one thing I, the one complaint I have with the Panini um, configurations is that um, there are too many boxes in the case. So they sell cases that are you know, 20, 20 boxes, 15 boxes, that sort of thing. That's a lot of cash to put down to, uh, to get a case in. These hot rookie cards are really, really nice looking cards. As you can see, hopefully you can see within the reflection in the camera. The corners on these are nice. Um, finish is really nice. Would be cool to see their maybe draft picture on the back. You know, the more I uh, think about the uh, certified hockey that I opened a couple of weeks ago, I mean, that Brodeur card right there, I mean, that's pretty much as good as it gets as far as uh, um, action photography. That white right there, that's the ice that the skater is kicking up as he heads in towards the goal. So, anyway, the uh, certified hockey, you know, I went and looked at a lot of breaks online. Uh, mine was a pretty good break, but what I did determine is that mine was not any better than a lot of what people are pulling. And so it's a pretty good product overall. Price is 80 bucks a box. I mean, it looks like a lot of people were pulling at least one really good or at least decent autograph out of each box. And that's pretty much all you can ask. That's kind of how I judge a, a product is if I'm gonna get killed on a box and there's a good chance of it, then I, you know, that's too big of a risk. But if your chances of pulling at least a decent card out of a box is, you know, there, then you can't really ask for more than that. You know, one thing to keep in mind is, you know, in hockey, a lot of times space with the cards, if they're short printed at all, will command quite a bit on eBay in the secondary market. They hold up really, really well. Double right there. So, looks like I am going to a much longer video than I wanted to make, so I'll shut up and start opening. Once again, the condition cards look pretty good. I'm not really sure I'm going to give any of these away on my blog. I might actually try to build this set. Philip Larson. And that camp card right there. You know, people often wonder why hockey isn't as popular as some of the other sports. But uh, I got two rookies. One of them's a uh, glossy rookie. Um, I think one of the reasons is, and I actually watch a decent amount of hockey, is the times that the games are on. It's pretty difficult to find the games on TV. So. Tell you one thing, hockey's a lot more exciting than uh, than baseball. So this is Captain Canuck. I think it's the player he's looking for, PK Subban. Uh, this is the glossy version. So 
you might actually come down from the great white north to rip that out of my, you know, cold hands. Eh? Got to be careful that cannot keep pretty, uh, pretty feisty, eh? I'm going to heal into with a couple of E's, a couple of boots, a couple of hooses. You know, if you come to your hoose, you're in trouble, eh? If you check out uh, field level view, I left a comment. Uh, Beardy and I are looking at trading teams and uh, field level views group break. And the comment I made, it's gloss, not a glossy rookie, is that uh, Beardy's being really indecisive about the, uh, about the trade. And uh, I said that he hasn't been that indecisive since he was picking out his wedding dress. I'm sure he looked smashing whatever dress he picked out, but I never did get to see which one was the, uh, which one he picked. I mean, he's a handsome guy, so I think he can really pull off, you know, Lacey or, you know, he's going to try to figure out if anybody actually watches the videos or something. So. Two packs left. That's a cool card, Patrick Kane. Shaped like a snow globe. So there you go, that's the box right there. I'll have a review up uh, shortly and look for some giveaways to come up on my site. Uh, thanks to Panini for supplying the boxes. And um, anyway, check it out, enter the contest. All you have to do is comment, so this one on contest. But anyway, thanks for tuning in.